Renault Fluence presents Simi Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultra Shear. She's a diva. She's a national award-winning actor. She's also a fashionista, as you can see. For many, she's an inspiration. A small-town girl who dared to dream and pursued that dream and conquered that dream. And today, <laughs> today, <laughs> Kangana Ranaut, you are also India's most desirable. My pleasure. My pleasure. You know, I've seen you on the screen, I've admired you, and now to have you sitting in front of me is really such a pleasure. A uh, pleasure is all mine. I've seen your earlier show also, and this show is so famous. I mean, all, all the desirable pay people I desire in India have been on this show, and if I wasn't here, it would have been really, really very sad for me. But I'm glad you decided to call me, and I'm Absolutely. happy I'm here. How could we make it without you? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I want to ask you, you know, every day there are hundreds of girls who come into Mumbai in search of their dream, and it only remains a dream. Very rarely does it get fulfilled. What made you different? Following my dream, I came to Mumbai and I, uh, I did my best, like everybody else. I can't yeah. say that I have been uh, any different, and I, I, I had this uh, amazing luck to be... Luck? Yes, I would say, you know, that, you know, I got chosen for the role in Gangster and that's, that's where it all began. Mm. We see girls in movies. They mm -hmm. show a girl from a small town in a movie mm -hmm. arriving in the big city and she's all wide-eyed mm -hmm. and, you know, dressed weirdly. Were you ever like that? I studied in uh, Delhi, Delhi and in Chandigarh. So there was a kind of... Step-by-step. Uh, Step-by-step, step, you know. But yes, the way we speak there is very different. We definitely don't speak much of Hindi or English. In Manali? Yes, we don't. So did you speak English when you came to Mumbai? No, I didn't. At all? No. So how did you learn? I learned it because... Uh, uh, like I learned everything else, you know, like I learned uh, acting, I learned uh, ma making movies, I learned English, and I learned a little bit of French, and you make a lot of mistakes initially, and even people laugh, don't stop, you know, because that's how you start. Very often, a girl comes from a small town, and she comes very trusting, and very often the trust is misplaced. Did it ever happen to you? I did go through a few bad experiences and a few amazing at the same time, mm -hmm. you know, but Honestly, the most beautiful time of my life would be when in my, all my innocence, when I got carried away, when I fall, fell in love, when, I, when people made fool of me and when I, I was so vulnerable that I didn't even, you know, understand the double meanings or, you know, I love that side of me and I would never want to be so wise that, you know, I miss out on all those beautiful things, you know, so uh, to an extent, yes, I have, but I would like to, yes, reserve some of my innocence. Tell me what your impressions of Bollywood are. When Bollywood was happening to me, I was so ecstatic and so thrilled and so on top of this world that I didn't give a damn, you know. It could be the worst place in the world, it could be the nicest place, but I don't care, you know, I just, I just want to be here. I was too hot-blooded, too young, too ambitious and too, uh, you know, starry-eyed when I entered Bollywood. So I was very happy. I still am. Yes. You worked with so many big stars like Abhishek, Rithik, Sanjay Dutt. Were you ever intimidated by them? Not really. They definitely uh, make you feel very comfortable and they have worked with so many newcomers. But most of these people, they mm. come from uh, film families like, and when they talk in their conversation, they talk about something, you know, when we were kids, we used yeah. to play and when we were doing horse riding together and we, you remember that incident or something, you know, and that it really makes you feel a little out of place sometimes, but mm. that's, it's not that they do it intentionally, you know, that's not They the share thing. a history, yeah. so that's yes. why they do it. Yeah. Tell me, is this a man's world, Bollywood? I think, yes, it is. For the longest time, I denied it. For that, I know that's not true. That's not true because I'm a fighter, and I never believed in anything like that. And 
uh, I think you are the one who make your own destiny. But right now, I have come to this conclusion, in conclusion that, yes, to an extent it is. To a large extent. To, <laughs> yeah, to a large extent. So how does one survive? See, there are two ways. You can continue with your own fight, or you be extremely, extremely friendly with them, please them, and uh, pamper their egos, you know. Now, the latter is going to take a lot of time of your life, you know. So I think the first one makes a lot of sense, to me at least, because uh, if I have fought for my destiny so long, and I have been an achiever, I have achieved whatever I want. So this is not the time for me to change my path. If I would have done that earlier, would have, you know, I would have been a different person today. More successful, less successful, mm. that is uh, different. But I would have been a different person, for sure. In today's day and age, who do you think has redefined their status to become a symbol of desirability? Mm. Well, desirable has its own definition, you know. If, if I have to give you a really honest answer, you know, and uh, that, that might just put you off. You would say, you crazy. I'm going to name a person. You're going to slap me in my face. I w I'm very non-violent, so I won't do that. Okay. I desire Anna Hazare. <laughs> okay, I want to ask you, you know, today, even in the capitals of the world, very few people have the sense of fashion and flair that you do. Honestly, I still don't know I'm that fashionable. Maybe people around me just dress up bad. <laughs> you know, trust me, I, when I came to Mumbai, even in my, now today I have money, I can buy the biggest brands. Now, mm. it will be very sad if I dress up bad, you know. But when I came new, I hardly had money and I would pick up anything and wear it and I'll be written about everywhere. Oh, you know, we like this girl and she's so fashionable and all that. Yeah. That was a surprise for me. But sometimes I cannot understand the way people dress up. It's, it's amazing, you know, they dress up so bad. Hmm. I mean, even the richest people, they wear the most expensive clothes and they dress up bad. So I, I, have, I have come to this conclusion that people around me dress up bad. It's very difficult to get that fashion sense, it's which you have innately. I don't know. Having come so far, are you ever insecure? I wouldn't say I have ever been insecure, but I have uh, been frustrated sometimes with life. Not insecure. Suppose all this goes away, mm -hmm. what happens then? H how can it go away? If you're talking about time, times will change and things will change. But what is in me and what I have lived, how can anybody take that away from me? Uh, Bollywood is not a secure place even for the topmost stars. I myself don't want to be in Bollywood all my life. That would be ridiculous. What would you want to for be? For me, if I, I get stuck in time, the worst thing can happen to me in life is that I get stuck in time. I want to grow as a person, as an individual. I, today I'm acting in movies, tomorrow I would want to do something else, you know. Mm. What about love? Love, uh, I have been in love a couple of times and I still am. But have you found somebody who is fits in with your idea of what you want in a man. Sort of, yes. Sort of. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that at least, you know. You, you just like the person and you like the time you're spending together and sharing. Uh, and uh, you hope that it lasts forever. Would you hope this lasts forever? Yes. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> and is this person from Bollywood? Or no. Not, not from Bollywood. Does he live abroad? <laughs> why, why are you? Yes. Uh, yes, yeah. Yes, I'm in a relationship and, and uh, uh, this guy is a, it's a very nice guy. Oh, I'm sure he must be and mm -hmm. I, I hope he really takes good care of you. How long have you known him? I know him for one and a half years now. It's a new relationship but... Uh, long distance? Uh, yeah, it's a long distance relationship but uh, then it's not something which, uh, which, leads, which is going to so soon lead to marriage, you know. Because mm -hmm. that's not what I want right now in life. Isn't it difficult uh, to maintain a long distance relationship no, or do you find it more romantic? I find it much better because I, I have been in a relationship with men who, you know, who can just completely suffocate you and not give you space, you know, and I'm very, very focused, you know. I, I want my space for sure and... and uh, so long distance works? Yeah, it does. Big time, you know. I have never been with somebody for so long. My relationship didn't last more than six months. This year too, <laughs> you're very honest. You have to tell me a little more. He is a doctor and a scientist. I Indian, Indian, um, American. 
<laughs> oh god i can't believe this i'm talking about it <laughs> american <laughs> no he's english he's english yes oh i'm sorry wow. i'm not supposed to say this anyways so i met him through a friend in india and immediately not immediately uh it, it took some time for us to know each other and then we travel together we live together and uh, but but his job is so demanding you know he he lives in lab for days and days you know worse than me i'm fascinated <laughs> are you oh god i'm i'm me too i'm just because i have been a science student you know so there's a side of me who is very very interested in in uh, all these things and he talks about such significant things you know the the genetics of cancer and the protein which carries the chromosome of cancer and and all these things and that that makes me feel that there is a world outside my world you know and these people are spending the best years of their lives in yeah, researching researching working, yeah. and working finding ways to prolong life to yeah. give quality of life i quite understand i think it's a huge contribution towards yeah, mankind it is i don't know how big our contribution <laughs> is towards mankind no we entertain. we entertain <laughs> we entertain and that's also important i mean that scientist needs entertainment at the yeah. end of the day and we'll give it to him <laughs> How old is he? He is 28. Nice age. Yeah. Is your boyfriend romantic? Yes, he is. And he is a very good musician. He he plays Musicians yeah, amazing well. guitar. The most amazing times have been when he when he played for me. Every time he played for me has been magical. amazing, yeah, magical. I hope he's the one and I hope he makes you really really happy. I hope so. <laughs> I was going to ask you. Does your heart beat for Mumbai or Manali? But now my question to you is, does your heart beat for Mumbai, Manali or London? Manali is a is a place which is spent my childhood in and all that. Mm. But the place which gave me work and which gave me identity is is Mumbai and mm. and my heart beats for Mumbai. <laughs> you met Kangana as she is today, the star. Let's travel back to the beginning. to kangana the daughter Renault Fluence presents Cine Select India's most desirable co-presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Renault Fluence presents Cine Select India's most desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. Welcome back. I'm sitting with the beautiful Kangana Renault, trying to understand her, trying to know her. But I think to really know her, we have to know her antecedents. So I'd like to introduce you to her dad, Amardeep Renault, a businessman and contractor. Tell me, what was life like growing up in Pamla? I come from mountains, so I have seen a lot of beautiful things in my life, you know. And yes. I, I come from a nice background, you know. Like my grandfather was an IAS officer. My great grandfather has been a minister. Freedom fighter as well. Yeah, and my my father, who is uh, who has given us very comfortable childhood. Manali me, ham log jaise villager hote hain gaon ke, us dang se. उसी माहौल में गुजरा है उसका बचपन जैसे बिलीजर होते हैं गांव जैसा होता है वो बचपन में हमेशा बोला करती थी मैं मिस इंडिया बनूंगी तो हम लोग मजाक में उससे मजाक करते थे तो वैसे अजीब सा लगता था ये सोच करके या और सुन के ना कि क्या बनेगी वैसे हम लोग उसको डॉक्टर बनाना चाहते थे एवरी टाइम सम गेस्ट यूज टू कम यू नो सो दे यूज टू आस्क मी सो वट डू वॉन्ट टू बी and she's missing yeah and there used to be a laughter you know yeah. <laughs> like i said something weird you know and uh, then i stopped it when i i became like 14 or 15 if somebody told what you want to be i would say i want to be a doctor did it bother you that they didn't encourage your dreams no i didn't because i come from a very very simple like you see my father they are very nice honest innocent people and i realized that it's not they don't want to help me 
इट्स जस्ट दैट दे कैन नॉट हेल्प मी नो इन बट आई आस्क्ड हिम के फिर उसके बाद क्या हुआ कंगना वहां चंडीगढ़ में जाकर के मतलब बिल्कुल चुपके चुपके किसी को भी पता नहीं चला वो मॉडलिंग करना फिर उसने शुरू किया और हमें भी उसने बोला कि पापा मैं इसी लाइन में जाना चाहती हूँ लेकिन हमारा कोई नहीं था फिर ना तो फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में ना तो मॉडलिंग में तो इसलिए हमें अजीब भी लग रहा था और हम थोड़ा असमंजस में थे कि क्या करेगी क्या नहीं करेगी आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू डू समथिंग अमेजिंग इन माई लाइफ विच इज़ अनयूजल यू नो I realize that I don't know everything. My parents haven't told me everything. They haven't. They have told me mm. either you can be an engineer or you can be a doctor. That's it. You know, and I I realize that that's not all. Mm. There is so much more I can be. You know, mm. and there's nobody to guide me. That's what I realize. And I told my dad that, give me a year. You know, and I will find that out, which he found totally bizarre. So when you when you decided to leave the village to go to Delhi, there must have been a lot of opposition. Yes, I told you my struggle wasn't with outside world. Mm. It was more with my own parents and family and you know mm. I as a kid I have been through a lot of trauma mm. because of my family life because we come from a joint family and there was a time when my father was ashamed of me and it wasn't because he himself believed that I'm a Mm. bad child because his parents yeah. and their parents and his my uncles and my aunts you know uh he had lot of things to deal with sara parivar uske piche laga rehta tha ki nahi beta ye nahi karegi ye kaam nahi karegi tujhe doctor hi banna hai bas to usne kaha ki papa main doctor ban ke dikha dungi main qualify kar jaungi jo bhi mbbs ka jo course hoga lekin main banungi model hi banungi actor hi actress hi banungi hamare lagbhag pure hi parivar ne isko inkar kiya tha i have heard him a lot and i i've heard my mother as well because they wanted me to uh be somebody else and uh, i think one regret i will have in life is that i have made my parents very unhappy at some point of time yes i have tell me one thing that moment when you left the house bag and baggage what was the atmosphere like this is really emotional you know uh, well like every time my mother was crying because i used to leave for hostel my mother always used to cry because we are leaving but this time was very special because yeah. i told my father that you know i need to because i couldn't say i don't know my destiny i don't know what i want to be i wanted to come across very confident you know yeah. so i said i want to be a model and he said that you know you don't have our approval and and uh, you do what you want to but my grandfather he gave me 10000 rupees oh. yeah he didn't even ask me what you going to do and what you want to do he said just take care of yourself and when i when i left you know i uh i i just uh, i didn't look back you know and my mom called me and she told me that that i was looking at you and you didn't even look back why didn't you look back i said i i couldn't you know so i mean that's that's something which i will always remember that i didn't have courage to look back Did your father say goodbye? No, he didn't. There was silence. Yeah, anger. Mhm. Mm Did anybody see you off? Uh no, nobody. You went all alone. Yeah. You're a very courageous little girl. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, to you join. have to be mad to chase your destiny if, if mm, today you wouldn't I would never have courage to do what I did. Trust me, that's the age and that's the impulse and that's the stubbornness which you like either you don't give a damn you know like you know i don't care you know you don't even mind hurting people who yeah. you love but when you get mature it's different so you caught a train no i i came to delhi by bus you can take a bus all alone yeah all alone when a young girl leaves home to become a star she's the protagonist and we tend to follow her story but what about the family that she leaves behind what goes through them har maa baap ke dil ke andar kuch dar sa hota hai ke akeli ladki kaise rahegi hum log bhi is sthiti mein position mein nahi the ki hum uske sath rahe har samay kyunki do bacche aur the to ek dar sa man mein hamesha bana rehta tha agar kahin telephone nahi aata tha tab bhi mushkil ho jati thi to matlab problem bahut thi bahut dil mein bahut ek ajeeb sa dar rehta tha ki pata nahi kya hoga My mom told me that if something happens to your father you will be responsible, responsible for that. You know so you come back home 
they were like holding me back like this, you know, and I was going through this trauma, whether to follow my dream or to think of people who really loved me and I will lose them or should I follow? So it, there was a lot of trauma going on, you know. Very tough. Yeah, it was very, very tough. tough. My fa father used to have sleepless nights for months and my mom used to check his blood pressure and she used to call me. Because of you, then they would say it's because of you. Yes, he, he can't sleep. Where is his young daughter and what is she doing in Delhi? And what is she doing in Mumbai? And I used to say, I'm going for auditions. And my mom used to say, do you know people are going to make your blue film? And I'm like, no, nobody's making my blue film. She's like, but you don't know, maybe they are. <laughs> and I'm like, no, nobody's making any kind of dirty film here. And she's like, but people say that here, you know, that she's mm -hmm. going to get exploited and she is going to get ruined and nobody will marry her and he's going to die, you know, like just thinking about you all the time. And I, I, I have had the worst time, you know, and at that age where, you know, you are trying to find yourself and you know that you are capable of yeah. doing so much more, but you don't want to hurt people who you love, no. you know. I understand perfectly. So it's been very, very traumatic. So when you came to Mumbai after Delhi, how did you manage? All alone, such a beautiful girl. I came for an assignment and I decided to stay here. And I went to this uh, girl's hostel, mm. Asha Chandra, she has a girl's yeah. hostel. That was the cheapest place I could afford. Then it was all uh, how you see in uh, movies, movies, you know, <laughs> like all happening stuff we are doing. We are going to discos, we are going for auditions, we are eating jam, uh, uh, achar and bread for the longest time. And, <laughs> and no money. Uh, yeah, no money. We have no money and one gets a check and that person pays the rent. That's so lovely. That's yeah, fun as well. That's a lot of fun, yeah. But uh, when parents call comes, like everything turns into a sad story, you know. Tell me, did you share your earlier struggle with your family, with your father and mother? No, I didn't. Uh, I always felt that I have, they have had enough trouble because of me and uh, sometimes I really felt really that you know I don't want to be here because I can't deal with it you know but I would just go into a room and just you know cry but I couldn't share it with my parents because because I'm here because of me I always had this feeling Your of responsibility yeah. you know so now yeah. what they can they can't help me it will be very unfair if I expect any kind of help from them. But, uh, but did they ever uh, try and persuade you to come back home? Yes, every day. They did. Every day. When she started in Bombay, Bombay came, she signed a film. Then she didn't film it or there was no problem. So I told her, go to her house. There is everything in her house. She comes to her house, so we are happy. Sometimes we remember a lot of her house. We are there, we are there. फल होते हैं अपने बगीचे हैं हम लोग इकट्ठे जब होते हैं ये आम वगैरह खाते हैं तो सेब वगैरह खाते हैं तो बहुत मिस करते हैं उसको उसकी बहुत याद आती है कंगना की फिल्म जब गैंगस्टर लीज हुई हमने उसका जो प्रीमियर देखा फिर मुझे विश्वास हो गया कि नहीं अब सब कुछ ठीक चल रहा है अब मुझे तो कोई डर नहीं है उसके बारे में ना तो कोई चिंता है कि भाई क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा हमारे पूरे परिवार को इतनी खुशी थी परिवार को क्या गांव को हमारे शहर को सारे के सारे लोग ये हिमाचल के लोग जितने भी हिमाचल वासी थे लोग ये कहते थे कि हमारे हिमाचल का नाम जो है कंगना ने बहुत ऊँचा किया है Name a married man in the industry who you wish was single. Why you guys are so fascinated with uh, actors? There is a world outside film industry. Yeah. Yeah. But I want the answer. Okay, I, I wish Amir Khan was single. Renault Fluids presents Cine Select India's most desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer.
Renault Fluence presents Cine Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. Welcome back. Yes, I am sitting with the gorgeous Kangana Renault, and we are now going to enter the Personality Cafe. <laughs> Kangana, this is the part that my audience absolutely thrives on. Really? Okay. <laughs> They've come here especially for this. Okay, so if you're ready, shall we go? Yes, Michelle, I hope you guys are not going to be very naughty. Are you going to be naughty? Yes. See, I told you. <laughs> So are we ready? Yes. Mira. Mira, you've got curly hair like me. So you are going to be very, very nice to me. I will. I'll try. Okay, lovely. Kangna, firstly, you look so desirable. Perfect for the show. Uh, I would want to ask you that uh, what was the most sexiest thing a man has ever come up with to grab your attention? The most wonderful was when this man who I know and uh, who stood, we, we exchanged hi, hello, and he just stood still looking into my eyes, you know, in the middle of a party and uh, everything just kind of stood still for me. That was the most romantic thing I've experienced. That made it all. <laughs> was that Thanks Mr. London? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Jinal. Hi, Kangana. You're Hi, looking Jina. really pretty. Thank you so much. Um, firstly, we're looking forward to your upcoming movie, Rascals. Mm -hmm. And uh, my question is related to that. Who do you really think in real life is a bigger rascal, Sanjay Dutt or Ajay Devgan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, real rascal means naughty, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think Sanjay is naughty. He's very naughty because uh, Ajay is more... Uh, to himself, you know, he doesn't talk much and he's, uh, he's a very quiet person, but Sanju, he is naughty and the kind of stories he tells you is amazing, you know, I think he's a bigger rascal. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Shaden. Hello, Simi ma'am. Hello. And hello, Kangna. My question to you is that, um, which co-star would you like to be as your lover? See, like I said, that uh, I, I am already in love. And if I say something so controversial, I will today evening I'll end up being single. So you don't want me to be single? Mm, yeah. No. <laughs> He's not sure about that. <laughs> no, uh, the thing is this, that uh, Shadin, I am in love. And right now it's very difficult for me to come up with an answer, even if I do, won't be honest, you know, so. <laughs> that's unfair. I think that's a little unfair. Somebody's in love yeah. with somebody, how can yeah, you want another lover? Like. Yeah, so you want me to say something which I don't mean, you know, that's not fair. Exactly, I respect the love that you have and it's very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you. Nehal. Hello, Samiji. Hello. Hi, Kangna. Hi, Neha. Kangna, you're looking awesome. Thank you so much. So do okay. you. You look pretty. I love your hair. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's a compliment I appreciate. Uh, Kangna, according to you, what is more desirable in you? Is it your looks or your acting skills? Nehal, that's for you to decide. But to me, I think uh, my attitude, you know, I am, I don't really give a damn about others. I'm quite cool that way. <laughs> Thanks. I'd like to give you a present. Here is a personally autographed hamper, and I think it's going to be a boon for your care and healthy skin. Thank you. Okay, enjoy it. Thank you. Come on. Bruce. Hi, Simiji. Hello. Hi, Kangna. Hi, Bruce. My question to you is, name a contemporary actress whom you think is the biggest competitor in the industry. Mm, I don't think that 
I'm competing with anybody in the industry. You know, I penalty. Okay, penalty. I think we should get Kangana to show us the ramp walk. Correct? Yes. Okay. Will you do it? Yes. Good I girl. I don't think I have an option. Okay. <laughs> Lights. Niriksha. Hi, Kangana. Hi, Niriksha. You're looking very pretty. Thank you. My question for you is, name a married man in the industry who you wish was single. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Why you guys are so fascinated with uh, actors? There is a world outside film industry. Yeah. Yeah. But I want the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, 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 wait, wait, I have an answer. Okay, I, I wish Amir Khan was single. Oh. Sai. Hi, Kangana. Hi. You were too, too, too good on the ramp. Thank you so yeah. much, Sai. And my question to you is, a director whom you would never want to work with. Oh my God, thank you for this question. Even if I, I have somebody in mind, I wouldn't like to name that person because that's basic etiquette, you know. Yeah. Okay, penalty Most coming penalty, up. Yes. Yeah. You are a smart guy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. The dance from Sadikal. Stilettos. <laughs> I mean, what else do you all want? Another penalty. That's what you want, right? <laughs> Alvin. <laughs> I feel like your slave, trust me. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Hello, Hi. Kangra. Hi. Hi. Uh, my question to you is could you sing us a song that you'd <sighs> like to dedicate to your hometown? Oh, that's nice. I'm so, don't make me sing, please. I'm please, so bad please. at song. No, please. You what? see, if you don't do what he says, you'll have to pay a penalty, and the penalty yeah. might be a song. Yeah. You're learning song music, singing. But I failed. I tried to learn singing, and I failed miserably. But we all will sing with you, right? You can start. Oh, they'll we, sing with yeah, you. Yeah, we'll sing with you. Okay. That's all right. Here's a mic. <laughs> okay, I'm going to dedicate this song to my hometown, where I come from. So, and you guys are going to join me. That's a deal. We're going to play darts. The bullseye is going to be Kangana's heart. The one who can aim closest to Kangana's heart will get to eat Kangana's chocolate cake. No! no. Renault Fluids presents Cine Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer.
Renault Fluence presents Cine Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. Welcome back. We're still in Personality Cafe. Kangana, I believe behind this whole glamour image lies a chef. Correct? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. You enjoy cooking? Yeah, I do. And you're going to cook something for us? Uh, if you like, yeah, sure. What will you cook? Chocolate cake, maybe. Yum! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see your kitchen. <laughs> Madame Chef, it's all yours. Simi, this is my favorite place in my house. I love kitchen, I love cooking. So today, hopefully, we are going to make really nice cake. To begin with, we have eggs. We're going to put these eggs in this bowl and we're going to put some sugar powder in this. We're going to beat this. Now we have enough flour. We put some flour. That's about a cup, isn't it? Yeah. Some baking powder. It is a chocolate cake, so we need this cocoa powder in this. You can put little oil and... So you've taken the cocoa powder with the flour. Yeah, we're going to mix it well. To put all of this, then we're going to fold it. Let yeah. me fold it for you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Look at this lovely mix. Now, we're going to take a tin, put a butter paper in this, then you're going to pour this in... And into the oven. Yeah. It has to be... 180 degrees and you have to bake it for 15 minutes. Oh, oh lovely, lovely. That looks amazing. Wow. Now that it's not very hot, we can put the icing in. Just spread it a bit. Well, I found this little thing here so I can write. Yes. SSIMD. Okay, guys, do you want to taste Kangana's chocolate cake? Yes! I have just decided we're going to play darts. The bullseye is going to be Kangana's heart. The one who can aim closest to Kangana's heart will get to eat Kangana's chocolate cake. Simple as that. Yeah. So if you're ready, shall we go? Yes! Let's have three volunteers. And where is my heart? And we have the dart ward. You're going to be player number one. Two turns. And this is your end point. You cannot go further than this. Take aim. Your turn. Whoa. Come on, you can't let the side down. You cannot let the side down. Women power. I would love to feed you and know your honest opinion. Oh, that's sweet. How's it? Super. Oh. So guys, while you go away, we'll have eaten the cake. The cake will be over, but the show is not over. So come right back.
Renault Fluids presents Cine Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. Renault Fluids presents Cine Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. Welcome back. Aren't you glad they're back? Yeah, I am. I need to ask you a small favor. I want you to make a self-portrait, which we will put on auction for charity. Will you do that for us? Well, I'm not a great painter, but I would, yeah, do something. <laughs> Lovely. It's for charity, so it's good. Come along. Don't you think it's very, very cute? And, and please somebody buy this. This is for charity. Yes, it is. And if you want to own this original Kangana, made by Kangana, of Kangana, please go onto our website, which is www.starworld.in slash SSIMD. Make a bid. It'll go for charity and it'll benefit a lot of people. So be generous. <laughs> Guys, isn't she beautiful, talented, and courageous? Yes! Is she an inspiration? Yes! Do you love her more? Yes! Than before? Yes! Okay then, come along. Kangana, beautiful woman, beautiful soul, talented, very, very desirable. I want you to always keep this and always remember that in the year 2011, you were voted as India's most desirable. Bye now. Ram 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 Ram